Hello guys and welcome to Rusty Invention Workshop uh, Exciting days, you can see it I'm very excited, as always <laughs> um, Guys, yeah, oh, I'm off camera Off car, another sticker Been sent to me uh, Machine is the English hobby Machinist, um, very good content as well. Guys, go visit, go look his look at his uh, channel. Um, very good stuff there. If I can peel the sticker, there you are. There you are, Mister English uh, Hobby Machinist. You're going on the board just there lovely okay let me quickly take you through all of these again on top as always matty from matty's workshop mr rusty knox very good content guys that just recovered from cancer mark pressling they're all up there for a reason they're very good saying that these guys aren't any worse uh, aren't lesser good than <laughs> they all good all of them are good that's what I'm basically saying and I'm struggling to say it <laughs> uh, dream steam my fit boy pop-ups workshop is carpentry but still good stuff Tweets Garage, very good content. Stevie GTR, good stuff. New one, the English Hobby Machinist. Craig's Workshop, Haxaby Shed. Mr. Factotum, PGP. Uh, Kimber Zelik, Tool Ride, or oh, what's it? Right Engineering F and A um, TKW the Necklace Workshop um, AIDS Workshop I've got a special place for him as always as I'm always saying <laughs> he, he helped me the first he was the first one who reacted first sticker and everything and he gave me such a first nice shout, shout out Mr. Age from AIDS Workshop has given me very nice fella um, Age from AIDS Watch sent me a nice goodie bag as well as sticker um, stickers very nice stuff My Little Meal English uh, Model Engineering Adventures I can't read today as you can probably see uh, and then Michelle Davis she's doing paintings guys there you are that's a, the uh, sticker board for now um, as i will always saying if you want to get in touch with me send me an email and uh, we can exchange details I can give you a shout out as soon as your sticker goes on the board um, and that's my my nice um it's metal my nice sign mrs rusty made me a birthday present oh no it was christmas christmas present um very nice stuff indeed guys if you're interested and uh the shout outs as i said before that uh will help let your channel grow you know and and that sort of thing get in touch with me and we can exchange stickers okay okay so that DRAO is still on there <laughs> very nice thing this man I'm so so happy that uh, I, I got shown this on uh, quite a few 
of the model engineering uh, um, groups uh, very refined readouts on your movements very clever off camera I've painted this up so it's the same color than a leaf now I don't know what you want to call it but anyway that's painted now so that's good um, today this machine this readout scale thing needs to somehow get mounted on the tailstock uh, I can see that's threaded in there, them little holes in there threaded however I'm not too sure how to mount it <laughs> there's two holes in the bottom might have been easier just to fit an old vernier on there um, because then you got all the stick outs and stuff that you can fix to I'll have to try and take this apart without breaking anything um, I know I can cut the scale down pretty easy that's no big deal um, the idea really and again I've seen it in so many channels uh, it's probably the easiest is get a nice little ring that you can lock around there a lock ring just with a bolt maybe in the back I want to keep the profile on it fairly small don't want to take too much space up on this ring thing and then I want to mount it on this base it will probably involve getting um, taps uh, drill and tap it um, I, again I want to all of these things I want to do I want to have it as little invasive as possible to the machine because I'm I'm quite happy with this machine it served me well um, yeah so we're getting there soon hopefully I'll start making uh, steam engines uh, of course I'm watching you guys on on uh, well the guys that has uh, YouTube channels I'm watching them on YouTube and I see all of these nice attachments I get so many ideas but actually I want to build steam engines but all of these ideas will help me in building steam engines so you do that catch 22 you say or i say that's where i am at um what am i to do all of these nice attachments will help not just now but in the future for next projects so in my opinion humble opinion I would say I need to do it but when I don't know okay anyways I think for now anyways I've got this episode sort of planned out I'm not going to do the steam engine yet. Steam engines. I'm not planning to just make one and probably grow in the steam engine building um, to who knows where, what level, what sort of machinery. Uh, build my skills up as I go. Okay. Um, yeah, well that's the intro done. Let's see where we get with this today. Okay, so there you have it. One tailstock. However, <laughs> this needs to be on there. This uh, base plate. 
Um, now, if I thought this really through, I would have thought, I would have think that uh, I need to fix the screws in there, but also I want to fix the screws through there. So that's going to affect how I fix it, because once the screws are going through there, I can't get in there to fix them tiny little screws through the back plate, and it goes the other way around as well. Okay, however, <laughs> I think I have a plan. Um, the other thing is also I want to sit it at a slight angle, because now normally if I stand in front of the lathe, I'm sort of looking a little bit downwards. So if I have it at 90 degrees, um, I'm not too sure what sort of, um, what do you call it, uh, glare and everything there might be on the screen. I might struggle to see the reading. So I want to sit it at a slight angle. Okay. So, not to worry. And just get that safe somewhere. Um, I'm thinking, if I make up a little base plate that I could probably fix on the bottom of this, if I make sure of this base plate, and then fix it to the uh, tailstock. If I got, mm, if I make sure that it fit nicely around there, I want it on the same plane. Then uh, these, uh, that's my governing um, axis. So this scale needs to run parallel to that shaft uh, there so yeah think if I get a piece of something and uh, I can mount it on there I need to raise it anyway a little so it goes above that not to worry a little space in there space a block that I want to fix to the body that's anyway my idea so um, let's see maybe I get a bit of aluminium aluminium as the uh, guys across the other way of the water would say you know the Americans aluminum and some of you guys as well I don't know uh, not to worry that material <laughs> you know what I mean let's see what I got so I've got a piece of eighth aluminium that's gonna be strong enough we don't need to have this over strong and I've roughly traced out where I want it I need to cut it down there so I can fix it to the body body of the tailstock on the bottom doesn't need to be very strong these fixings then uh, on the back of it I traced it out so I can fix them uh, through some of them holes into this um, and then cut it back so it clears them holes okay I don't know if my description is any good um, I'm gonna go over to the bandsaw just behind you to the right of you um, Actually, I want to change the blade on the bandsaw. 
I've still got the uh, timber blade in there um, it does the job but um, I've bought another blade might as well put it on and then probably get a little bit more precision on that okay guys and girls friends <laughs> I don't know what the right term is you tell me actually um, I don't want to sound like a speech um, I don't want it to sound like a speech in terms of uh, ladies and gentlemen that feels a bit over the top um, saying that I'm sure you all are ladies and gentlemen um, the idea is this is what I came up with I've cut it out that blade works nice the bandsaw works nice um, it's not polished up it's okay um, thing is though and then I bend it the slight bend in the bottom just to go around the body and then the top of course I curved around so the idea is that it sits in there and the readout sits on top like that so I think that could work I'm not too sure on how parallel that is however I can twist this around a little once I got I think I need to mount this base plate to the aluminium as square as I can and then uh, tap drill and tap um, bolts in there and I can twist this aluminium around a little so to tweet it cheat it so that it be parallel with that shaft and I could always put some washers or shims in there that's an idea don't know yet so I need to go search for some fixings uh, don't know what yet it'd be good if I can found some countersink screws I should have some but I don't know I will have to go search ok guys girls there you have it uh, I've grind the inside down very gently so it's actually came out quite smooth quite nice um, and by eye this distance here looks actually quite decent um, I know it's not you know it's not in the same line so that the center of this is the center of that that is okay I can live with that I can make a plan around that so I think I want to fix this body down around there or the, the, the mount down a bit around there and then I can tweet it a little and then come back to the back end and fix it down even later maybe so yeah I'll do that drill and tap um, through the aluminium in that and then carry on from there okay guys I've got the two fixings in the body I measured the distance between the shaft front and back it's all good I had to tweet it a little but it's all good it's lining up that way um, I don't know how, sh how it will show on camera but it lines up that way I've shortened the scale so it all has to come off again to fix this lot on um, good I forgot about that actually <laughs> uh, such sots law they say 
Sot's Law, Murphy's Law. Anyways, I'll have to do that then. Um, it's just two screws. Problem is, I might have to line it up again. Switch the caliper off so the battery don't run out. Okay, so this here fix the tiny little screws, and it's got this plate plate thingy there. I don't know what that is for. Spacer, probably. That fits in there, and then. Them tiny screws go here and here and that's why I cut it at this weird angle so I can get to the screws. Okay, let's see what happens. Can I fix it? Now you don't want to over tighten this. Just still it grips proper. And I believe there's a hole there, I can't really see. Yes. And yes. Good. Now what is happening here? Oop. That's a battery panel. Why is that like that? Well, I don't know. Anyways, that still works. Okay, now I can fix the body back on and hopefully line it up again. Hmm, <laughs> should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> we'll see. So, I'll fix this on. That's it. And then do some measurements. See if it changed the law a little. <laughs> that's it. Lovely guys. So that's the McGafter. I've got this little battery cap that sits in there. Good. I haven't peeled the plastic on the screen yet. Now next up I need to make that lock ring and I want to make it fairly small you know thin because <coughs> the less I can uh, the thinner it is the less it's gonna obstruct how much of this um, uh, shaft I can use you know how deep I can drill thing is though this is actually quite short. It's about, I don't know. Let's see. Where's a, it's about three inches, maybe less even long. Well, actually I've got the scale there. So it's about 70, 75 more, so three inches roughly long um, it is what it is but I'm gonna lose some of that distance because I'll have to put that ring on there and I can't pull it back all the way now in the past the way I've done it before was whenever I started 
with a project or wanted to take measurements on my cuts I'd move this shaft all over the quill I think I think that's the name of it I'd move that all the way back um, till it's flush and then drill in and measure that distance the quill comes out so that gives me a fairly rough ish idea of how deep I drilled but like I said doing um, building model engines I want and and other machinery I want a bit of a better um, judge scale way of measuring this stuff okay so the moment progress is going all right happy with that okay let me put some of this uh, taps away before I lose it because like I said before I'm a, magi a magician I surprise myself with the tricks of disappearing you know I can within seconds let something disappear forever and I'm so good I can't even find it myself that's that skill guys that uh, that's really good I have to tell you if you don't know I'll tell you that is really good anyways so that's why I always try and keep stuff together which is supposed to go together oh that's nice of them they did send some fixings too late now done it already anyways might use some of that fixings there's some nice cap set bolts maybe in a lock ring who knows okay that's it for now it's uh i'm gonna go sit down have a coffee i don't know if you're interested in sitting down having a coffee i think actually you beat me to it you might be sitting down having a coffee or a beer and guys enjoy it um, I'm really thank you thankful for you watching my whatever you want to call this struggle sometimes sometimes it goes a little bit smoother sometimes old Murphy with Murphy's law gets involved and it's just chaos all the time sometimes uh, sorts law <laughs> if you want to call it okay guys so next up is creating this ring clamp um what i have here is a bit of three eights about what's that ten mil nine mil let's see um reset the caliper Ten more. Yep. Just over ten more thick. No, it's it's about ten more. Um, if you deduct the burr, I'd say it's ten more. Anyways, ah, uh, this is almost a bit thick, but I can work it down. So. I need to cut around inner diameter and I need to cut on the outside it also round with a tab or something in there not too sure yet um, How do you start? Mark it out. Oh, you're looking at my face. Ha! Where are you looking, man? Um, down here. Sorry, guys. This is it. This is the plate. This is the caliper. You see, that's a problem with with uh, filming. It's easy to do a drawing. <laughs> uh, anyways, 
I can move some of this stuff, it's spares and all sorts. Go and move that away. So this plate, what do I do? I mark it out. I need to get the inner di diameter of that. Um, split it and a round on the outside. Of course a square and will look rough. Mm, it's not really the theme I'm going for. <laughs> Saying that. The square on the outside could help me to fix to the end of that. Probably drill and tap into that surface there. Okay, let's mark it out. I've got, let's go there. I've got 14.8. So the battery died and I had to quickly change it. Let me see, are you watching of what I'm doing? So there I've got 14. Point seven seven millimeter if you want to go precise I need that on my piece of metal uh, metal aluminium aluminium then I've got a bar how did I do that the bar is 25 and this is all imperial um, imperial life but I'm going metric is easier for me 25.3 millimeters so 25.3 half of that come on give me a hand you geniuses um, 25 is 10 12 and a half Point, what was that? Point four, point, yeah, twenty five point four. So twelve and a half is fourteen and a half. Is if I can set the caliper. That's it. Close enough, 14.52. Otherwise, I'll be busy for ages. So I've made a little mark there. Go to my calipers, set it on the overall distance from the top to the center. And that's it there. So that's my center line. Um, let's say I'll do that. Okay. Then I want to mark, which I can with a square, but I'm just going to do it like that. Give me one little mark. Bring the square over. And... That's good enough for a square. Okay, get my center punch somewhere. Because I'm not set up like a lot of guys um, sorting their tools out and everything beforehand. Okay, so that's the center of this shaft here. Okay. Now I can slice that off and um, I can mark some rounds on there and um, I think I'm gonna slice it off get that center board out uh, actually mark it first get that center board out and then um, probably on a bandsaw just Cut the worst of the 
rough off, off the corners away which I want to cut away and then uh, go to the belt sander and sort it out. The belt sander is another COVID project which I haven't showed you yet. It is actually in the in the carpentry side of the workshop and that is filled up with the daughter's um, trays for a wedding. Okay, anyways, let me cut this um, and then get on with it. Guys, I'm set up on the, or you are set up on the back of the lathe. I've put a four jaw chuck in it, spin freely, centered. Um, I didn't use a gauge on it. It's not that important if it's slightly off. Um, yeah, because I'll bore it out and everything, so that's fine. I want to say something to you. I want to actually, <laughs> guys, this disappearing act thing of mine, you know, the magician stuff. I'm really good at it. I'm, I'm, I surprise myself at how good I am. This little block that I just marked out, this thing here, I moved everything to the lathe and I was searching all over for this little block. Guys, that was just gone. I even went through my pockets. I checked everywhere in the little workshop. You know where it where I made it turn up in a drawer. How on earth? Um this is this is very impressive. I'm I'm like guys I'm on another level with this thing, I tell you. Anyways let me get back to boring because this is gonna be boring if I just keep on talking, not doing anything. Okay, so I want to change a few things, take this out of the equation, this cutter. Now I've got a lot of new um, holders, I just haven't set them all up. Uh, I don't need to center drill it, seeing as I've got a punch there. So I'll just go straight into boring it out. Okay, let's do that. I need to change this over to a drill chuck, a Jacob's chuck as the clever guys call it. So I've taken the lead screw out of the equation, don't really need it at the moment. Um, thing is though with the alumi aluminium, aluminium, uh, it makes a lot of awful swarm. Long thing is that just clutter everything. Anyways, I don't want to mind. Alright, get that done. Get a bigger drill in. done. I want to go even bigger. Let's see if I can find the drill bit for that. That should do I think. Then uh, we'll make the... <laughs> 
it will make the boring a lot easier it's a little bit noisy but you know I need to sharpen these pits they, st they still work the speed down a little. It's way too fast. Get a bit more power into the system as well. Uh, that's better. Yeah. I can speed it up the motor up a little. That should do. guys and girls um, I got the boring bar set up we lock that down it's all solid got the lead screw engage a very slow um, drive speed so I think we're ready to go don't worry about the wobble we'll sort that out And speed it up a little very slow drive speed feed speed at the moment I'm just roughing it out so I don't have any measurements except for the uh, markings um, that's good I think I need to get another light in this situation. A little bit more. Then about 50. Okay, that seems at last I'll work something out because we got on the zero there and it is in millimeters. I got real confused at this stage between uh, millimeters and inches, imperial and metric, but it seems like I'm getting there. So, if after all this is a practice. And it is, that's good, because I seem to need a lot of that in a new equipment. That's an interesting thing to learn. Anyways, okay, so this hole should be a um, couple of thou over. Um, so I'm just going to try it, actually. 
I can take because I've got the uh, lay set up on that the DRO so I can reset it to the exact marks where it used to be I'm going to bring the tailstock in see if I can punch it in the hole if I can get close enough I wonder if I will be able to let's see I don't think so actually just a little bit shy so anyways it is very close so I think I'm gonna go with that um, next up I'm gonna take it out uh, cut most of that away with a bandsaw off to the uh, belt sander make it round because I don't have a turntable I don't have a milling machine um, so one of those things gotta make do with what you got anyways so that's what I gotta do so guys turns out I overshot it so actually I made the hole a lot bigger in simple terms and I have redone this block confession time <laughs> um, so I need to take another five millimeter of uh, that inner diameter but now I'm gonna use the DRO so five millimeter let me set the zero if I swing you around, hopefully the glare, sorry for the plastic, you know it's just protection. So if I reset it at, I think it's this one now, let me just check, oh I don't want to turn it now, I'll reset both and see. So I want to go two and a half millimeters backwards, so if I turn that two point four now I need to take the backlash off so I went past wow there you are that is where I have to be so I'll set that at zero um now, if I go to zero again, that's where um, the bit was before I moved it. So there it was before I moved it. No backlash, or the backlash is taken out so good now i can go oh no hang on hell i'm bad <laughs> i want two and a half that was where i was supposed to be now the backlash is off now it was where, now it is where the bit was set before the two and a half okay That wasn't two millimeter, it was two thou probably. Because I still got four point 
four point ah I haven't gone to the zero I was in the thous oh man I still got loads to take off huh there we go okay sorry guys this is gonna take a little while it needs you know I need to figure this out start using it and figure it out so I need from this point uh, two millimeters so there you have it guys that is the rough shape um, now I'm going over to the uh, belt um, sander I got confused with words sometimes a belt sander and finish that off a bit better before I do that I'd like to check how this fit on the uh, tail stock sorry you're looking at the bottom of my face I'm here don't worry today seems to be a little bit all over the place um, now that needs to come down by half a mil I'd say not to worry and then I can fix it through this face here if I turn it around this face here into that surface there and I can tighten it up on the back with a little bolt through there so after I sliced it okay that seems to work okay okay I'm going over to the uh, belt, uh, belt sander now over here there is some trays everywhere and it's a bit of a mess this is the carpentry part so there it is in the corner I need to dig it all out so that I can use it all right okay so this belt grinder as I said I made it um, during COVID it's mostly out of wood with a couple of pieces of metal I've got metal behind the sanding pad um, some structural metal but even the pulleys and stuff is out of wood because I didn't had metal to do it um, started up I might have to um, get the position of the belt ready, see if it still works. save on the fingers on the skin um, yeah I think I said it but yeah I use this belt grinder to make knives belt sander to make knives during COVID um, I've got it in the shorts I made a few knives and I was quite proud is quite proud of it I'm collecting knives as well um, just a little bit of odd information Anyways, okay.
place guys I'm really thankful if you like it give me the old thumbs up write me a little message um, I watch Hamilton farm you know and he does an interesting thing if you watch up to here give me the old spanner the wrench emoji put that in the comments I'm just interested in seeing who's watching to where if you didn't watch to here you well if you didn't watch this part really you wouldn't know to put it down I'm just curious as to see who's watching what anyways guys bubbling talking nonsense um, I'm gonna sit down see you in a second so a little bit more on the belt sander got the sand over there big old tabletop where um, I've made a jig so I can clamp the blades in there and get a nice even plane on sharpening um, you want it at like four degrees or two degrees or something like that you know very shallow angle and over here I had a stone on that broke and I just left it off and then the polishing wheel which seemed better day, but days by now used in other, other stuff as well polishing up and this is just a guard that comes off the little thumb screw there um, the plan with this at the moment is probably to lose most of this and just leave the sander motor or sander and the motor and uh, I'll probably I've got some bench grinders I'll probably put the polishing wheels and that on bench grinders rather um, just make it smaller because I don't have space for a big machine like this that's why it's in a carpentry uh, shop in a corner um, yeah I, I mean I might in the future even remake the sander part out of metal but that works actually pretty well so yeah for the moment I'll just leave it as is okay okay guys there you have it um, this job old Murphy and Sots Law had a big part of it they interfered a lot it went very well till it didn't <laughs> I broke taps I had to remake it again um, broke a tap in there couldn't get it out on the previous the second one second attempt and then I broke a tap again going through there I don't know what material this is as well this is very tough I struggled really to drill it and um, yeah I don't know if you get carbide bits straw bits but um, yeah HSS didn't want to do nothing to it this is very tough still anyways so yeah I broke a bit in just in that part there where the bolt is just across there um, and seeing as this is my third attempt I thought that's enough I'm gonna have to make a plan with this so I just add on a piece of something a bit of aluminium that'll do I end up cutting that with a grinder this the scale because uh, so it's got a little slot in it and that could actually help me if I need to take it apart I can just release the slide the scale across or take the whole thing off and leave the scale alone so 
very handy and the end it seems like it's gonna work out um, so there you have it a DRO on the cross slide on the ways and DRO on the uh, a digital readout on the tailstock so guys um um guys let me do this for once i'm gonna smile this doesn't happen often i'm very very pleased uh after all i mean it wasn't such a good day a lot went wrong uh it went smooth i got a bit too optimistic enthusiastic and after the first snap i just seemed to keep going um yeah i think that I can i can think of a few times that i was just stupid and yeah anyways um got to this point i'm very happy ecstatic um it's all working very great okay so guys i'm gonna call it a day there um i hope you have a wonderful weekend a week ahead and i wish you god's blessings thank you bye